Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Frostpunk, a game that comes out on April 24th, 2018. And man, is this the beginning of the end for the apocalypse of the world. Weather in 1800s, late 1800s, has basically swallowed the earth in whole, and now the last survivors from a, a British expedition are here gathered around the city in order to try to survive. In our previous episode, we sent out an expedition. They've almost made their way, or rather a, a scout team, to the Lost Expedition in order to see if they can bring back a bunch of great people in order to work for us. So if you want to see more of this game, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button as well. This is probably one of the coolest and most immersive games that I've ever played. I mean, so much so that you can see the uh, corners of the screen are even frozen, really making things feel cold and hopeless with plenty of discontent but I hope you're not uh, filled with discontent in this game this is really really a great game so far let's get some people to work on uh, looks like we've found some raw food we're gonna have problems with food I see uh, with a lack of um, with a lack of us sending out uh, anyone to uh, do hunting we, we weren't so lucky on the hunt so let's grab some people uh, over here let's have some engineers work at the cookhouse we got to get making some raw meals otherwise we're gonna have some bad deals here lots of people who are hungry we'll work on that next thing let's start doing some new research let's go ahead and see if we can make our uh, actually let's make our hunting teams a little bit more effective let's send them out with some better hunting gear and that should allow them to bring back more food that should allow them to uh, hunt faster and more efficiently and uh, have better camouflage too when they go out let's go ahead and jump back to our lost expedition oh have we almost found them yet oh it looks like they're gonna be there in two hours and 47 minutes all right not too long that we have to wait now all right looks like we're out of uh, food but we do have the cookhouse uh, working away at making more meals for folks, so it should be okay. Uh, we're going to play that one a little close to the blade, but we should be all right. Again, in this game, you need to make very difficult decisions in order to keep your city alive. It's both a city builder during the apocalypse and also a little bit like uh, this war of mine where you need to make decisions where it's basically like, hey, someone snitched on us. What do we do? Do we tie them up and beat them up or do we kill them? Like th that, Those are some of the most toughest decisions you need to make in this game through the Book of Laws, and we'll see more of that very soon. Luckily, since last time we built ourselves a steam hub and we have our medical post here and discontent should be plummeting as uh, we will really not have uh, a lot of problems here. I guess uh, somebody was ignored in a previous, uh, I don't know, previous argument or something like that. I have actually no idea. Something must have popped up on the screen and I didn't see it. But for now we're going to gra grab some more coal and such. These guys are actually going out on the hunt. So that's our hunting crew is going out to... Uh, to do a little bit of hunting. So it's nighttime, nobody's eating, everyone's sleeping, but it looks like the scouts have just reached the Lost Expedition. Let's see what they're face, uh, faced with fate. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on, we should escort them to the city. All right, let's search the area. Lost Expedition, a happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices over uh, welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days and we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults around us packed up and ready to go. Site discovered, crash site, and sturdy shelter. All right, let's go ahead and escort the survivors back to the city. If we do the other options, some of them may die. There's a, there's a possibility for that. So let's go ahead and bring everyone back here and we'll get started with that. Looks like we found two extra sites to look at, then a sturdy shelter and a crash site, and also the observatory still exists, so we'll wait for some of those more hands to come in. That's going to be great. With more people here, that's more mouths to feed, but also more people that can go hunting. So that's going to solve our food issue. So let's go ahead and speed up time. And the cookhouse should be the first thing uh, getting to work tomorrow. And that should provide us with a lot of food that'll be needed. Looks like a couple of people are getting sick. Um, cold at home, yeah. We're at steam level one. Everything's going all right. It's just extra, extra cold out there, so you can imagine there's going to be some discontent. All right, let's continue with the speed here. And it looks like, boom, look at that. Scouts have returned to the city. You can now disband the scouts. Oh, you can you can disband them at the beacon or send them back into the Frostland. All right, so we have the option to fold them back into the workforce or have them return to the city. Look at that. The survivors are back. Wonderful. Congratulations, folks. Welcome home. And now that actually means we need a lot of homes for them, too. People from our convoy, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? First expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. All right, we'll look for others around here. There should be another settlement around here somewhere then. All right, we got a big homeless problem. Oh, no, we didn't prepare for it. Well, actually... We kind of did. We have plenty of wood ready to build homes for these people. And it looks like uh, we have just enough wood to do it. We need to build these homes in some of these uh, warmer sectors. So we'll go ahead and start building tents here and here. Uh, that should be just enough. 
And we'll have to build some streets for them, too. Search for the others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people to ask them for help to secure our survival. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and build a road to connect to some of these tents. Looks like we'll be out of wood to do that. Um, no, that's okay. We'll get enough wood in the morning. It's actually just, just morning now. Well, we should have extra people here, so let's make sure we've got extra workers going on uh, doing whatever we need. All the extra hands are going to be helping on uh, gathering wood. It's going to be extremely important. Extra engineers here, fantastic. All right, a couple of sick people, but they're being uh, treated, I'm hoping. Let's take a look at the uh, clinic. Plenty of patients here. All right, very good. We're working uh, on doing our best for them. And uh, the homeless problem should be resolved as soon as all these tents are built. So very good. All right, plenty of coal here, 399. Oh, looks uh, that might actually be our... Uh, is that our survivors, or is that the hunting party? Not sure. Okay, we've got our uh, coal deposits there. We're going to grab some more coal piles here shortly. We only have enough coal for uh, two days, so we'll have to get the rest of the survivors on gathering coal, which means another resource pit up there soon enough, and also one here. Unfortunately, sometimes you just have to cut corners and just have people go out and gather in the cold because you won't have the resources to do it the proper way. Sometimes that's just better in the long run. All right, houses are being built. Good. What are we researching next? We're researching hunting. Fantastic. That'll make our uh, crews a little bit better. And we should have people working at the fantastic. They're already working at the uh, cookhouse, which means meals are coming in. Good, good, good. All right, food is solutioned. The housing problem is solutioned. Sick people are being attended to. Uh, looks like they're, uh, I guess they're going to work. Maybe they don't have enough beds, but uh, we're working on everything as quickly as we can. Just a fantastic atmospheric game so far. Hey, wait a minute. we got to send our scouts out again. Let's get to that then. Uh, let's go to the crash site. I wonder if there'll be some supplies there or something like that. It said that several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They probably are machines. Let's go. Let's hope so. Uh, we had to leave a number of supplies in there. Oh, we, we've left supplies in them after the crash. Oh, okay. So maybe a train derailment or something like that. That's going to be really good. All right. got to be faster on sending out those scouts so that we can, we can grab all those free goodies. Which are basically just waiting for us to nab. All right, let's go ahead and send out. Uh, there we go, little little road building uh, team right there, and that should solve the rest of our uh, tent problems. I hope. I don't know if uh, actually the children might need some more homes too. Let's just build another tent there just in case. We could leave. We could leave it with a little bit of extra room. There we go, and they're all nicely heated, so that's good. Fantastic. I'm glad the hunters' tents. I'm glad not all buildings need to be. Uh, don't need uh, to be heated. That's a good thing. A couple of people are starving, but or hungry at least, but we have food rations, so they just need to go grab some something to eat. A little something something. We have workers there, so that's good. Alright, what do we have for workers? Nobody nobody unemployed. Only 20 kids who aren't, aren't allowed to work. Now again, we can change that at any time, but we're going to leave that as is for now. And uh, perhaps it would be a smart idea for us to build another medical outpost just so sickness doesn't spread quickly. Should be able to build it here. Next to the pile. Is that connected to a road? I hope so. Alright, lots of hungry people. Go grab something to eat. There's plenty of food. Could not resume production. Requires raw foods. There is one raw food, so you should be able to at least finish that, right? Alright, let's take a look back at our scouts. They're just making their way to the crash site. They should be there in 16 hours. So it takes them 16 hours to travel to reach, and then about 16 hours to bring things back. So we'll see exactly what happens. Okay, let's speed up time. Let's see these tents get finished. This is an intense game, for sure. So we definitely want to see it uh, finish quickly. There we go. Alright, and there's the hunter gear. Fantastic. They're going to bring back even more. Alright, very good. Alright. Fantastic. And the hungry people are being fed. I th think I saw it drop down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Wood crates have been depleted. Fantastic. We finished all of the uh, gathering materials over here. That's good. So we can dismantle the uh, the gathering post and now turn that into a neighborhood. It looks like there's still a few things to do over here. And uh, also another research we need to do. Now that we have the hunting uh, gear all done, what's the next thing we should work on? Possibly the sawmill for more wood or for... Mm, perhaps faster gathering to get all of our research, uh, or rather all of our resources gathered. There's just, there's just coal left, two, three pockets of coal, some steel. Yeah, let's get all that gathered up as soon as possible. 
Oh, looks like, yep, less and less people are getting hungry. Good. Hunters, please come back quickly. We need you. Ah, now it's time for the Book of Laws. Food problem. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Let's feed them. You have three days to feed everyone. Uh, let's feed them. You have three days to feed everyone and the stockpile. 55 food rations. I won't address this right now. Let's go for the challenging one. Because we just did a major uh, thing to increase hunting. And in fact, let's build another hunter's tent too. I'm all for that. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Let's grab something to eat. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe put another one here. And we'll build a road that goes over that way. Now all the roads are built in this game in a uh, circular pattern because that's how heat travels away from the generators. Uh, this is our big generator here which is connected to the smaller steam hub there. So essentially it's just basically boiling water, putting it under the street and having it come out there to keep people warm. So uh, I believe we have... Uh, we should have... Oh yeah, we got lots of unemployed now too. That's actually a good thing because of all the gathering posts that are done. And uh, coal's getting a little low. So let's go ahead and put some people on work over here. And let's get the rest of them on hunting. Oh, looks like we have another issue. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll find out the best way to do things. And again, there's always consequences. There is no correct way to do anything in this game. There is no uh, right or wrong way sometimes. Discontent is low and... Uh, people will be, uh, oh yeah, we got a little bit of a food problem. I'm just, it's curious how we have one raw food remaining. They just couldn't process it. Our hunting team should be back in the morning, though. And our crew has almost arrived to the crash site. So things are going okay. Oh, there, I, that one actually might be our hunting crew going out again. It's always weird when there's people going out at nighttime. They just kind of disappear into the cliffs and climb up there somehow. Alright, almost daytime. We got 12 workers here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull two off. It's 15 per hunting tent. I was thinking that it was. Uh, I was thinking that it was actually uh, tw uh, 10. All right, so that's over 30 people going out to hunt. That's crazy. All right, very good. Hey, look at that. The people are thinking we can do. We're doing fine, all things considered. Excellent. Even the people are in agreement. All right, looks like we may have found something here. Oh, that's where our expedition was split up. When our vehicles crash during a snowstorm, some of our precious supplies should be here. Wood and raw food. Oh, that's fantastic. Fate of the Forgotten. There is, uh... Oh, look at that. All those vehicles there. Oh, wow. Is that like tankers and tracked vehicles of some sort? There's plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found some bodies. They're tangled together in a, oh no, f a single frozen mass as if the people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Well, we'll take the resources, which is a huge jump in food and wood, so that's going to be fantastic. Let's go ahead and send our, uh, our scout crew back to the uh, city. Come on back, folks, and bring those supplies with you just in time. Excellent. Fantastic. And our raw food, we should be getting an increase in that sometime when the... Uh, when those crews re return. All right, we're getting low on coal, so we can get focused on uh, bringing in uh, the remaining, uh, I guess the remaining uh, piles of coal. There we go. All right, let's speed things up a little bit. Oh, things are getting warmer. Fantastic, our coal consumption should decrease then. All right, well, that got us lucky. And excellent, 41 raw food just came in, good. And hope and oh, fantastic! Discontent going down, and uh, we'll address the food issue shortly. Okay, let's see things speed up. You know, what would be funny is if that raw food that we get. What's going to be really great about that is eventually, it can be converted into uh, rations, which will help us to complete that goal. And uh, let's see, facing starvation. Feed all the hungry, have enough food prepared for another day, 38 out of 55. So we should have enough at the cookhouse, so long as they return. Oh, yep, they'll be here in any minute. Faster re uh, gathering researched, excellent. Let's get another research project down. Let's see, I think the next thing will be the coal thumper. We're going to be very close to having no more coal, so let's use the coal thumper. Then eventually we'll go for the coal mine, but that's going to uh, take a little bit more time to research and a lot more to uh, get up and running. All right. 
Let's get to it with the food, folks. There's the scouts with our food. Wonderful. All right, cookhouse, double duty on getting that stored up. Fantastic. That should feed all of the people. Good timing on that one. Excellent. Come on, guys. Grab something to eat. Grab your om noms. Let's go. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. The hungry were fed. And we hope. Oh, hope increases. Wonderful. Most of the hungry uh, have had a meal and somewhat satisfied for the time being. Fantastic. And discontent plummets. Hope increasing. Wow. Fantastic. All right. Let's slow things down a little bit. Let's do some assessment here. Coal is uh, starting to drop a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. We have enough for 22 hours. Uh, we need to uh, stay focused on... Let's see, we need to increase on that hunt. Coal thumpers being researched, so in the meantime, what can we do? Oh, this building's all done now, the gathering post. All right, let's dismantle that. The workers from that can then come over here and work on gathering more coal. All right, perfect. That's near 30 people gathering coal. Very close. All right, let's send out our scout team again. Now, let's see, where should we send them to? The sturdy shelter. Bulky cylindrical construction stands on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there's no sign of movement. Hmm. Well, the shelter may have more supplies, and that's critical to us now. So let's send out scout team number one to research what's over there. We've been doing so far so good, folks. Really, I mean, look at that. Discontent is like somebody lost their favorite penny. I mean, that's about as little as discontent we have. That's really fantastic. But we'll see how uh, fantastic it stays weather's on our side for now and it's about to drop sometime tomorrow all right let's see 20 hours left on coal perhaps we should build some more shelters we have plenty of wood at our disposal so just in case we find more people let's build some more homes just to keep them happy there we go you never know when we might find more survivors that might be a good idea to uh i'd like to have another hunter's tent but we don't have enough people for that yet Gathering posts might be good to keep the people uh, healthy at the coal mining operations. But let's see how much coal remains. 330, 500. They might have that actually uh, gathered up rather quickly. They might get sick, but I'll take the risk in order to uh, save, our, uh, save our resources for now. I wonder if we build another research lab. Does that increase our research by two? Does that double the uh, speed that we research? There's no information on it, so I'm not sure. I, I would hate to build it and then it not to give us anything. All right, let's see. What are we researching now, anyway? Oh, yes, the coal thumper, which should be ready tomorrow. Okay, let's increase speed. 18 hours until our uh, our little uh, scout party has arrived at the shelter, the sturdy shelter. Now, keep in mind, this is even before World War I, so if you think about, uh, like, World War I technology, even if the uh, Brits were very advanced by then... At best, work. they would just have, like, old, uh, really bad motors and such. Look at that. Discontent continuing to fall. And fantastic. The coal thumper was researched. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at putting that down. I wonder if we can put that down anywhere or coal thumper. By pumping pressurized water into the underground, coal deposits the coal thumper, washes the precious resource to the surface, forming a pile. Oh, it forms a pile up to 550 per standard workday, enough for two gathering posts. Oh, so do we need to put a gathering post near it? Oh, wait a minute. All right, the symbol in the back means that perhaps that's where the coal will be dumped, and then we need to have... Oh, okay. So perhaps then what we should do is build a gathering post over here anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, let's do some construction up here. Well, then contrary to what I just said, now that we have a uh, constant source of coal, this might be a good idea. So let's build a, uh, we'll build a line up there. Build ourselves the gathering post here. Now they said enough for two gathering posts. So that's promising. Okay. I think... I can't necessarily see the road. The street is under construction. Oh, I see it there. Okay. So if we build that here... And then if we put a coal thumper on the other side... They should be able to walk across the street to gather. And since we'll have so many people over here working, we may as well build ourselves a steam hub in order to keep everyone nice and toasty as much as we can. Boy, that coal thumper is a huge building. That thing is massive. All right, hopefully we have enough workers for that. Hey, look at that. We got plenty of rations, too. A new research project is what we need. What do we go for next? 
Ah, the sawmill could be very helpful, but also the steelworks could be helpful too. Hmm, let's see what else there is to research. Heaters, beacons... Oh, looks like we'll need to research drawing boards in order to go on to the next stuff. Let's do a sawmill then first, and then we'll go to the steelworks. Alright, roads are being built. You can see all the people there working. I wish we could zoom in just a little bit more. That's my only complaint about the game so far. Because it's beautiful. I mean, your game, <laughs> the game, you got a game that's so beautiful, I want to zoom in further and they just won't let me. Look at that, discontent is literally nothing right now. That is fantastic. We got to be awfully proud about that. Oh, did we, uh oh, did we build the building off a little bit or is it, oh, hopefully I didn't build it off to the side. Oh, I built it just a little too far away from the road. I wonder if we can uh, stop, they haven't even started construction, so let's cancel that. I couldn't see the road, so I wasn't sure. Some, it looks like the buildings can actually overlap each other, and then when the road builds, it actually moves the building a little bit. So there we go. Now they're starting construction. All right, no problem. Three sick absences? Yeah, no kidding. It's cold over there. We're working on the heater. We got you guys. Don't worry. We're trying to be as compassionate as, as possible. Now, we haven't really had to make any brutal decisions so far. People have been relatively healthy and have been being fed, but when times get tougher, we'll have to choose between uh, amputees and graveyards and uh, cemeteries or literally just burying people in snow piles and uh, perhaps uh, cannibalism. There's many things that will eventually uh, change our decisions here. Alright, there goes our steam hub. Look at that, melting all the snow around. Beautiful. Keeping people nice and warm. Fantastic. Alright, now we gotta get some workers on this thing and also this thing. So let's find out what we can do. Let's get people off the coal piles. I think that's the end of the work day. Okay. Alright, let's get people on this tomorrow then. Let's get the coal thumper up and running. And let's get uh, people over here. Good, that means we got two extra workers available. We actually might have uh, people unemployed. We have two engineers unemployed and two unemployed standard workers. Wow, alright, that's not that bad. Okay, we got extra tents built, good. Let's lay out the roadway just in case. I really would, I'm gonna get nervous for when we find more people at random. Oh yeah, you see how it moves the houses slightly? Okay. That's just a little hard to see where a building's gonna be laid out in a giant snow pile. There we go. Right, they should build that out sometime soon. Alright, our scouts are about three hours away from reaching the sturdy shelter. What lies in store for us at the sturdy shelter? I don't know, I, I'm hoping a lot of supplies or perhaps uh, some extra workers, then we can uh, really boost our in industry. In fact, we could build a sawmill right up here next to the gathering post. <gasps> Actually, once this coal's out of the way, we could boom, we could get rid of this building, build our sawmill, and perfect, we'll be able to gather coal. Actually, no, we don't want to get the gathering post out of the way, do we? Because this is supposed to make a constant supply of, uh, of coal. So, uh, but we can move it, or at least we can build it here where that coal pile is. Oh, that's perfect. That, that worked in our favor so well. I'm not seeing a lot of raw food coming back and It seems like the same one little morsel of, like, a chicken nugget or something is... <laughs> so, somehow a chicken nugget rolled into the uh, Ross food storage. Oh, we, we actually made it now. The sturdy shelter. Shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system pr protects it from the cold. Oh, is anyone here? We have a steam core, food rations, and wood. Oh, let, yeah, let's explore. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well-equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points two directions. London, 1,934 1 miles. Home, 27 miles. Site discovered steel bridge. Take resources. Oh, wow. Plenty of food and wood. All right, well, we'd like to go to the steel bridge, but it might be best for us to return with those supplies, given the uh, early start that we have. Oh, there's a journal here. Day 8 from arrival. The shelter is comfortable, and we've equipped with emergency supplies. There does no... Oh, we already, did we already read this? Okay, we already read that. All right, good. Let's send back to uh, this, the city. There we go. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, not doing too bad. Our second day of uh, survival is going really well, or at least our second episode here. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button as well and show me that you'd like to see more of this game. It's absolutely fantastic so far, so uh, make sure you add it to your Steam wish list. This one coming out on April 24th. 
and uh, man, it's going to be awesome. So check Steam if you uh, if you're interested in this one. It's just, it's just really incredible. It's just desolate and desperate, and I like it a lot. What do we got here? We got extra engineers working here. I guess we could put all the extra people on the coal pile, so let's do that. Let's get all the extra workers on everything. There we go. All right, so tomorrow we should be able to clear out all the coal. Let's speed things up. Expedition's on the way back. They'll be here in about eight hours. Uh, frozen trees. Yep, we'll get we'll get to work on that with the sawmill shortly. Actually, what are we researching again? Oh, we are researching the sawmill. Fantastic. We've got enough coal for about uh, 17 hours, but don't worry. We've got uh, plenty of workers ready to work on that. Time to get to work. All right, excellent. And they're working on getting that coal out of there. Scouts from number one have returned safely to the city. You can disband them if needed. All right. Oh, and our wood's full. Well, that's good news. Build a sawmill near frozen trees to start cutting them down for wood. Excellent. Well, we got plenty of wood already, so a sawmill's not our top priority. But researching something else is, and that something else should be our steelwork. So let's get to work on that. Boom. All right, looks like the scouts are waiting again. You guys head on over to, yeah, let's go to the steel bridge. That was, that sounds interesting. The observatory, we'll find out what's there, what, what's there next. All right. Let's see. Cookhouse has always got one little chicken nugget left in it. I don't know why, is somebody like, oh wow, we're actually almost full of food. Dude, we're full on food, we're full on wood. That's fantastic. All right, let's see. What can we do next? That's that's really good. We're doing really well so far. We could expand our resource storage. Or we could research something. Well, actually, we could build other things. The sawmill would be important. Another gathering post, but we've still got so much to gather that we're... Wow. Yeah, well, you know what? We better build another resource depot for our, wood, uh, our food that we're getting. So let's build that. I don't think it has to be kept warm, so let's build that over by the hunter's tents. And whoever gets off work can go over there and we'll build that. So there's our coal thumper. Oh yeah. There goes that coal industry, man. Why? I don't understand the massive fire, though. I assume to heat the water before it's injected into the ground. That must be why. Because we're probably just taking snow and filling it in there and then dumping it. Yep, all oh, like that. Boom. Smashing it right down into there. Oh, there's the extra pile of coal. Fantastic. So we've got, well, dude, we should have so much coal coming in. We've got ten people gathering coal from around here, plus an extra, what, seven people just gathering at random? That's really good. All right, what else should we do? Should probably get ready for more housing just in case. Do we, I feel like we're just going to stumble upon a huge group of people, and I just don't want to get caught off guard with not having houses again, or food. So that's what we're storing now is a lot of uh, food and uh, building additional housing. Actually, we should be able to build some there down by the industry. This is our cold section of town. The hunters and the, the beacon are all kind of kept cold. I wonder if there's like natural gas or something running through that pipe in order to keep that uh, thing afloat. Must be something going on. Maybe it's connected to the steam, hot steam going up into the balloon. I don't know. Alright, research is almost done of the uh, steel mill. And then we can build that over here. So let's get ready for that. We could actually, actually use some extra storage. Let's grab our... There we go. Let's grab our... There we go. Road building equipment. Okay. Perfect. We're full on wood again. Steel. More coal. Well, I'm really happy with how things are looking so far. Alright, let's see. Expedition, what will they find when they reach there? They should be there in a day or two. And our continuing uh, growth of our city is on question, man. We've got a beautiful city, and it's great so far. We're doing really well, but can we survive? I don't know. We'll find out, though, in the next episode. So if you want to see what exactly happens to that expedition, what awaits us at the Steel Bridge, who's out there, and where are their survivors, well, just make sure you go ahead and click that like button, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Check out the playlist. So see a full playthrough of this game before it releases. Make sure you add it to your wish list if you're interested. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.